Hello everyone. Welcome to Go Get My Guru. Let's discuss about difference between list and tuple. So what you are seeing here in line number 2 and line number 3. I hope all of you have followed our previous videos. So then you should be answering this. So what is in line number 2? Is it a tuple or list? Yes. You are right. It's a tuple. And line number 3 represents a list. So we have created personal information as tuple and monthly deposit as list so what is the basic difference between these two let's see so what is the first difference when we see a list created and a tuple created the first difference we notice is square brackets and parentheses so list is created using square brackets and tuple is created using parentheses the second difference is list is dynamic tuple is static so what does this mean we'll discuss this what actually the meaning of dynamic and static we'll discuss with an example and then third thing is lists are mutable and tuples are immutable so what is the meaning we have discussed this in our previous videos so lists are mutable that means you can change the objects in the list but once the tuple is declared once the tuple is defined you cannot change the objects in it so that is the meaning of mutable and immutable so let us consider the scenario of banking system where your personal information will be i have stored personal information in tuple because tuples are immutable that is you cannot change once you create a tuple and monthly deposit i have created as list because every month you will deposit or every day you can deposit so the amount in your account will be changing that's why i have taken it as a list let's say i want to change the month amount in january so how can i do that take your list and then indexing comes into picture so here is equal to i want to change to 25000 suppose if i want if i try to change the personal information there i'll take indexing as 0 and then we'll change ram to let's say sham now let us run this and check what we will get so here you can see that we have got an error telling that tuple object does not support item assignment that means you cannot assign a new value to tuple that's why it is giving an type error so now let us comment this and then let's say we'll print this monthly deposit now monthly deposit will print now let us run this and check whether our january amount will be updated so here you can see that january amount is updated to 25 so that i can change my objects in list so let's write here this was for mutable and immutable example so let me comment here mutable and immutable next we have discussed about list is dynamic whereas tuple is static so what does that mean let's understand with an example so now let us discuss about dynamic and static so what does this mean let's take an example suppose i want to deposit a amount in my bank so i'll take a variable as amount and then let's say we will take input from user so we'll say please enter amount let's say we'll take this input from user so let's say enter amount next this amount should be updated in monthly deposit so how can i do that to do that i can make use of append op function here so what it does it amends the value at the end of the list now let's try to print this print let's say updated amount is comma will give monthly deposit so now let's say we'll comment these two lines so that we will not get confused so now let us run this and check what we will get so here it is asking enter amount suppose i'll deposit 40000 then i'll give enter so here you can see that updated amount is your new list is january was zero because initially we have created with zero and february is 1000 whereas the next amount got added to our list that is 40000 so what does this mean this means that your list can grow 
so dynamically it can grow it is not static the size of the list is not static that's why list is called dynamic whereas tuple is called static next difference you can see is for lists python allocates smaller memory blocks python allocates larger memory blocks to tuples so how can we confirm this let's do hands on so let's try to check the memory allocated for list and tuple here for that we have to give our tuple name is personal information dot you can use size of operator this 12th line of code we are writing to check the memory allocation of tuple now just write another line of code for monthly deposit that is list so we want to check the monthly deposit of size of list so now let me comment these three lines now let us run this and check what we will get so here you can see that first one is for tuple it is taking 40 bytes of memory whereas second one is for list that is taking 56 bytes of memory so from this you can tell that how efficient is to use tuple when memory allocation comes now this list have variable length this we have seen while discussing list is dynamic and tuples have fixed length because we cannot insert or we cannot modify the tuple once it is created and then list support more operation than tuple the tuple supports less operations than list so why is it so because list is mutable that's why we have insertion deletion operations which are included in list function that's why it supports more operations and next question comes when we can make use of list and when we have to go for tuple so in our program if the data doesn't change every time we can go for tuple or else if the data we want to update in program then we can use list if we have a small project or less number of data then list plays an effective role the tuples are easy to debug in big projects because of immutability then the last difference is list is useful for insertion and deletion operation as it is mutable tuple is useful for only read only operations and it is useful to store values which does not change for example we took an example of a bank account where once account is created you cannot change the account number and your name so here we have said that list support more operations than tuple so let's display what are all the operations available in list that is inbuilt python operations let's discuss inbuilt python functions available for list and tuple so here just give print directory of if you give list it displays the inbuilt operation supported with list and print dir here you can give tuple so let me comment these two now let us run this what we will get so let us print one first and then we'll print the next so let's just comment this one now we'll print so here you can see that these are the operations available for list here you can see that we have delete operation reverse operation and we have insert operation pop operation now let's try to print the operations available in tuple so now i'll run this so here you can see that operations available in tuple are this one i hope now all of you are clear about the differences between list and tuple so the key takeaways of today's session are we have discussed about difference between list and tuple so what is the major difference between list and tuple is list are mutable whereas tuple are immutable that is once list is created you can change add delete update the list and next is list are dynamic whereas tuple are static that means the size of list can grow if we add any item to the list the size obviously grows we cannot add any item to the tuple that's why we say it is static so lists have more operations than tuple insertion deletion operations are performed with list whereas with tuple we cannot do that and python allocates larger memory blocks to tuple compared to list we have witnessed this using size of function 
so i hope all of you are clear now we'll see you again in the next session thanks for watching do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive updates for future videos